Hey, I'm Dr. Ozzy with the Functional Medicine Wellness Center. We're going to talk about allergies today. Lots of confusion on allergies. So there's two, two main things we'll talk about. Anaphylactic, or we'll see that all the time while patients come in, they did the skin test and they say, you know, I'm allergic to uh, some kind of weed in China, right? Um, and and, and we'll, we'll talk about that and that definitely could be a problem. And we're worried medicine always with anaphylactic, is it going to kill you today? And, and that's important, obviously, a peanut allergy and all that. But we're talking more about what we call delayed food allergies. We get comfortable when we might say there's sensitivities or, or food intolerances. But in reality, they are delayed food allergies and they come from a different part of your immune system. So not what we call IgE, which is kind of the anaphylactic that we're, your allergist is gonna look at. We're looking for those delayed food allergies. And to me, it's kind of like taking a little arsenic every day. Eventually, you're gonna start to poison your body. So we want, it's not right away, like again, an anaphylactic uh, problem, like a peanut allergy. So, we, but we wanna make sure that we're uh, addressing that because over time it can cause a lot of inflammatory processes in the body and cause a lot of harm and cause a lot of, and even leading into disease if you're genetically susceptible because it's just picking at you and picking at you and picking at you. So we wanna again analyze, there's different ways to do that. There's blood work testing, there's saliva testing, some companies are better than others. Um, we've kind of dialed in a couple of companies that we really like. We also do um, muscle testing or applied kinesiology where you can actually put the food on the tongue, the brain is actually aware of it. We've done functional uh, MRIs or information that shows that, hey, when you eat something, your brain's actually aware of what it is and it's communicating with your body. And so we can get real time data from that to see, hey, is this food actually good for me or do I have some type of allergic kind of irritation or reaction to it? So again, we wanna kind of uh, change our thought processes on is it you know anaphylactic or is it long-term type of chronic problem? And then we can also see that maybe I don't need to be off of something forever. My body might start to you know, actually clear itself out and heal up, and then I've got to address, well, maybe I can eat it sometimes, but not all the time. And we start to you know, maybe use a food diary and start to figure out what is that. We definitely have patients where you know, gluten or dairy or soy or corn, you know, these are some of the main ones that they just can't have it. Like it just doesn't jive with them and they know it because they feel awful and they're more than happy to never have it again. And so we, again, we kind of play with that and coach you through it and then you try to figure out what's best for you as far as how you're feeling and then we can analyze that again in different ways to make sure it's not getting into a overall chronic kind of disease problem. So again, food allergies, super important. Um, and we look at them really well here at the Functional Medicine Wellness Center. Hope to see you in.